Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. For today's video, we are going to look at the 2018 NBA Playoff Round 1 matchup between the 4th seed Cleveland Cavaliers and the 5th seed Indiana Pacers. So I've already done this for all the Western Conference teams, so go check those out. The Eastern Conference teams are being released today on uh, April, Friday the 13th. So yeah, guys, get all your predictions in the comment section below who you think are going to win these series. So, first what we are going to do is look at the team stats, then we are going to look at the player stats, and then we are going to do a playoff series simulator and talk about the matchups and things along those lines to see who is going to win this series. Um, so yeah, so looking at the team stats of the Cleveland Cavaliers this NBA season, how they rank offensively and defensively, um, from a scoring standpoint, I mean, they get buckets, guys. Uh, scored score by 111 points per game. Um, offensively, this team has no problems. Like, they have a ton of scoring options out there. It's really the defense that you got to worry about when it comes to them. But yeah, Cavaliers fifth in the NBA in scoring at nearly 111 points per game, uh, while the Pacers behind Victor Oladipo, you know, middle of the pack, um, 105.6 points per game. Definitely not that bad, but, you know, I mean, the Cleveland Cavaliers offensively just have more options than the Indiana, Indiana Pacers, and that might be the difference in this series. Now, defensively, you look at these teams, and, you know, it's a bit of a different story. The uh, Indiana Pacers um, are actually one of the better defensive teams in the NBA. It looks like, uh, what, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth in the NBA when it comes to defense, only giving up 104.2 points per game, so the differential of 1.4 points out there. Uh, from a three-point standpoint, I mean, three-pointers rule the NBA. They are shooting about 37% out there, so that's pretty decent. They get to the free throw line, you know, um, probably about middle of the road when it comes to free throws, about 19 free throws per game. And you come down to the Cleveland Cavaliers, they are actually the fifth worst defensive team in the NBA at giving up about 110 points per game. Um, you know, as far as them shooting three points, 37%. So, you know, those guys are pretty equal when it comes to that out there. So, I don't think that's going to be a big difference maker. Unless somebody like J.R. Smith or Kyle Korver can just have a veteran moment and just knock down like eight three-pointers in a game. I kind of expect that from J.R. Smith, one of these games, if he actually gets to play, is just have, well, he's going to have one of those games where he goes one for 11, and then he's going to have a game where he goes like 11 for 11. That's just how J.R. Smith kind of rolls out there. But yeah, man, uh, let's check out these players' stats. We will look at LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers first. So I think it is important to note here, I, I, I know Pacer fans don't want to hear this because, you know, I know once upon a time my Pistons played LeBron James in the first round, a few, you know, like three years ago or something like that, two years ago, and they got swept in the first round. Um, in the last five first round matchups for LeBron James, he has swept it, guys. He's 20 and 0 in the last five years, which is absolutely crazy. Now, with that being said, I also don't remember the last time Kevin Love, or I'm sorry, LeBron James, um, was a fourth seed. Um, you know, when it comes to the NBA playoffs, he's usually like a one or two seed out there, so that is a bit of a different territory for him out there. So he is playing a better team in the first round than in the years past in the Indiana Pacers. But yeah, man, getting his 28 points per game out there, nine rebounds, nine assists. Um, I think the nine assists is actually a career high for him. I, I believe so. Uh, points is like his fifth highest of all time. I just remember reading stuff out there. Um, but think about LeBron James, guys. He's knocking down his three-point shots. He has the most three-pointers made this NBA season than any other of his NBA seasons he's ever played. So, man, he's uh, definitely changing this game and not looking like he's slowing down. Like we were saying, man, Kevin Love, he got to stay healthy. If Kevin Love is healthy this entire series, he can be such a difference maker for this team. Now, I do think he is going to match up against Miles Turner, who is similar in play style. You know, Miles Turner uh, definitely is a bit of a stretch five out there. Kevin Love can play the four or five. Kevin Love, the better rebounder of the two, uh, but both, like, not extremely athletic. I mean, yeah, I mean, Miles Turner can, like, throw down some dunks every now and then, but his style of play is kind of similar to Kevin Love's where Larry Nance Jr. is actually going to be uh, starting at center for the series, as I was, as I read on the internet somewhere. Um, so I imagine he would probably do a lot better, you know, playing some defense on Thaddeus Young, who is more athletic based himself. So yeah, that'll be a pretty good matchup right there. Um, I think the starting point guard is going to be George Hill. So him against Darren Collison might just be the most boringest matchup in NBA playoff history. But we'll see what those guys can do out there. Kyle Corbett will, you know, still start at shooting guard, uh, try, try to space out the floor a little bit. But for the most part, guys, um, it's going to come down to the depth of both of these teams. Let's go ahead now and check out the Pacers and their scores. Uh, Victor Oladipo, what more can we say about this guy? I was actually watching The Herd with Colin Cowherd. He said probably one of the most, you know, I, I usually like listen to the dude, but he said one of the most stupidest things ever, guys. He said Victor Oladipo on a really good basketball team would be a fourth option. I mean, the Pacers, in my opinion, are a really good basketball team, and this dude is playing like a freaking MVP, guys. The most improved player by far. Um... You know, not being hindered and, you know, slowing down by Russell Westbrook no longer. But, yeah, so 23 points per game for him, five rebounds out there, four assists, two, three steals. It's going to be interesting to see how defensively how the Cleveland Cavaliers look to match up against him. Um, 
my thoughts are that they are probably gonna have to put lebron james on him right because you know they say that lebron james takes that next level defensively in the nba playoffs um it's also important to know lebron did play two games this season so i will see if fatigue is a factor for him you got bogdanovich as the second leading scorer a guy that can score in multiple different uh types of ways 14 points out there get some rebounds uh miles turner guys i think if the pacers have any chance I and i'm saying any chance at all miles turner needs to take that next level as a basketball player now i was expecting it, i was expecting it this season but you look at his stats it's like those are just kind of basic bitch ass center numbers man i think miles turner has all-star potential and i know he's only 22 so i think it's going to come in time um but i'm looking for a miles turner out there that can be a second option to victor old depot it can put up about 20 points and 10 rebounds out there he needs to do that his defense is great gets about two blocks a game almost a steal out there uh darren collison just your basic point guard out there 12 points five assists out there thaddeus young athletic four that can stretch it out for you shoot the three-pointer although this season he is shooting up damn not this season 32 percent damn dude yo darren collison actually ball now at about 47 percent from three that's absolutely crazy um yeah so all these guys can shoot three except that he's young this season for some reason just decided he doesn't want to do him anymore um the mountain sabonis this guy off the bench is gonna be huge because like i was saying both these teams they they do have the depth on the bench it's just which team is going to show up from the bench unit right like lance stevenson i think he's going to take another uh, uh, the uh, next step this nba postseason just because like he loves those big moments Corey joseph al jefferson trevor booker so yeah guys both teams i love i love their depth of their team i love the starting in five of both teams out there um as far as how they match up against each other i think it's gonna be a really fun series to watch it's gonna come down to victor oladipo versus lebron james and i know i probably gotta put my money on lebron james right um, so here we go. We now are going to do the playoff series simulator of this. Before we do that, my predictions for this series is, um, okay, so I know LeBron James is 20-0 you know, in his, like, last 20 first-round matchups. I do think the Pacers get at least one win. I would not be surprised if they got two, but I think this is going to be a five-game series, Cavaliers in five. Um, but at the same time, there's games where the Cavaliers just completely fall apart. You know, if LeBron James gets no help at all and the uh, pacers have one one of those nights i can see them win two games in the series very easily and go into six i do not expect the seven game series i do not expect the pacers to win i don't i'm not even sure indiana pacer fans really expect to win but the good thing about that is when you don't when we have no expectations on you um you also have no pressure at all so who knows man the pacers um if there's any team out here in this first round to be an upset cavaliers it's like you know without lebron james i mean that team's not very good so here we go let's get going on this Simulate with Simcast, the first game. See how this goes. See who gets buckets. The lineups are all set, guys. I did all the lineups to uh, match the minutes and starting lineups. So the Indiana Pacers actually upset the Cleveland Cavaliers. They caught them sleeping in the first game, winning 100 to 95. Victor Oladipo, 24 points. Bogdanovich at 22. Corey Joseph off the bench, big time. With uh, is that yes? Yeah, uh, yeah, Thaddeus Young, obviously, 14 points. I was like, yo, Trey Young's on that team, but no, man, he got to be drafted still. Trevor Booker, 14 points. Uh, the bench unit stepped up big time to gain like damn it's about 50 points it seems like um off the bench all right for the Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James 22 points nine rebounds nine assists near triple double 20 for Jordan Clarkson Kevin Love did okay out there Jeff Bean kind of choked a little bit um just not really any help at all from the bench unit so man 195 upset in game one here we go simulate with Simcast game two see if the Cavaliers bounce back or the Pacers damn do Pacers going for a freaking sweep out here oh my god dude wow dude oh my god that yo the paces was up by like four points the Cavaliers just came back and stole that game wow man victor old 24 points 11 rebounds four assists and four steals and three blocks superstar numbers right there 22 and 8 for thaddeus young 13 for Corey joseph look at the cavaliers um ronnie hood actually had a big game like he was the main scorer on this team 22 7 and 4 16 for kevin love 13 for george hill a near triple double one team for lebron james although he was only six for 11 did not really shoot all that much um wow man that was i'm, I'm saying like that that's got to be demoralizing from a pacer standpoint being that close to going up 2-0 winning both of the home games against Cleveland cavaliers and then losing at the last second all right so we are now going to pacer land right here simulate with simcast game three see if they can win one here the cavaliers are going to try to get the w's too uh look like a cavaliers blowout so far uh not not absolute blowout but there was a 41 point second quarter from them uh 111 to 106 as they take the 2-1 lead here Corey joseph 27 and 6 14 for bogdanovich um victor oladipo 3 for 12 shooting only eight points out there at three fouls it's like he just kind of never really got into a groove this game but it's all good you know it's gonna happen every once in a while kevin love 25 10 and 6 
21, 8, and 6 for LeBron James in a 14-point game. Rodney Hood um, just looking like a nice scorer for the team, finally stepping up, which he really needs to do so much, man. Such, he could be such a big part of this team. Like, he really could because you could write Kevin Love at the 5, LeBron at the 4, then Rodney Hood at the 3, or just like you could also put Rodney Hood at the 2, which would also be fine being 6-8 and everything, but you know what I'm saying. All right. 2-1 lead for the Cleveland Cavaliers. We are going into game four. Simulate with Simcast. In my opinion, a must-win game for the Indiana Pacers. See what they can do here, guys. See if they will tie it up. And it looks like a close game, but ultimately, um, LeBron James takes over in the fourth quarter, winning 39-28 you know, in the fourth quarter, winning 115-2-103. Victor Oladipo, a bit of a better game, but still struggle for, you know, shooting 10 for 23. Uh, less than 50%. 20 for Bogdanovich. Miles Turner, we have not really said his name all that much this series. Um, it's just like this is the series. This is the perfect series for Miles Turner because he doesn't really have like a big time center. He has to bang with down low. It's just he has to go out there and just like he has to be the best center in the series. Uh, Kevin Love 27 and 11 for him, staying healthy. 24 11 and 8 for LeBron James. J.R. Smith having one of his better games, dropping 15 and a 15, 15 rebound performance using all um, of his athleticism from Larry Nance Jr. They are now up uh, three games to one. Here we go. Simulate with Simcast. Simulate game. Yo, Pacers, it's, it's time to win now, man. It's time to win now. We go home, and they are going home. Just the Cavaliers turning on the next gear right there, guys. Win 121 to 98. Like I predicted, 4 1 series. Um, And I wouldn't be surprised if the Pacers caught the Cavaliers sleeping in that first game. But then, you know, the Cavaliers taking it to the next level and being like, all right, it's playoff time. Time to play like it. 20 and 11 for uh, Thaddeus Young. 16 6 and 4 for Victor Old Depot. Hit a pretty decent series. Did not really have any crazy games out there, though, that led to W's. Uh, LeBron James in the closeout, 23-11-9. and nine. We got 23-12-3 and three for Kevin Love in a 17-point game for Jordan Clarkson. Um, I will say this will be one of the toughest first-round matchups from LeBron James in recent memory. Um, I, I feel like his team is not as good as years past, but I feel like LeBron James is also playing at an all-time level right now. It's going to be a fun one to watch, guys. Yo, Pacer fans, don't, don't get afraid of LeBron James because you keep in mind how bad they are defensively and how great you guys could potentially be offensively if Miles Turner gets going, Bogdanovich knocks down his shots, Victor Oladipo takes over. Uh, it's going to be a good series. But anyway, my friends, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace.